Welcome back to Breakfast Television, a mainstay in our city for 25 years. The Women in Need Society has launched a call for fundraising support in the wake of a spike in demand for services. And we welcome this morning the Executive Director, Karen Ramchuk, to the program to tell us how we can help out. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, this is a great example of give where you live because everything that's given stays right here in Calgary. Absolutely. Um, any of the money that is raised in our stores goes back into community programs that help local Calgarian women, women and their families in time of need. Okay, and tell us about this half a million dollars. That's a big number, and why are we seeing this spike? So what's happened with the economy in Calgary the way it is at this time, um, people have less cash to no donate. Mm -hmm. On top of that, they have less product to donate. So when they have less product to donate, our store sales are less. Ah. It's the revenue from our stores that fund all the good work that we do out in the city of Calgary. Mm. So we have a free goods program that runs out of our stores, but then over and above that we have four family resource centers located in the heart of Calgary Housing Complex in partnership with Calgary Housing and the United Way. And that's where we're in danger. That's what we're going to lose if we can't raise the $500,000 by the end of April. And who's the typical client? Who are these thousands of people that you serve? The thousands of people that we serve are everyday Calgarians. It could be your neighbor. It could be your cousin. It could be your sister. It could be the local person at the grocery store you shop at. Mm. It's anyone, any Calgary woman who's in trouble with their family. And they'll come into our resource center and we're able to help them there through a variety of programs. Um, programs such as client goal management. So one of their goals in life might be to go and get a new, a new job. So we'll have them come in. We have free public access c computers, which you think everyone has access to the internet, but right. they don't. So they can come on into our resource center. They can learn, learn job search skills. They can do resume writing. They can do um, live interview practice. We have um, English as a second language. We have women's group, which helps end socialization. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in this situation feel that they're alone. So when they come into our resource centers, they're greeted by friendly staff and introduced to programs with other women in the same situation so that they can meet people that they can relate to. Yes, and obviously to run these programs, cash is king, and so you're looking for donations, uh, but there are other ways that you can help out. So what are some of the items that people can, can donate? So lightly used furniture and household are um, big in demand for us because we do help people set up new homes right. with those items. Um, clothing is also important. So if people don't have cash that they can donate, they can bring us their items that we can sell in our stores. If they don't have items that they can donate, they can come and shop our stores. Anyone are, is welcome to come and shop our stores. Mm -hmm. And it, our th stores are family thrift stores. So we do have all sorts of product. Everything I ask for for them to donate is what we sell in our store. Okay, and we have an example of some lightly used clothing items here. Those are items that are donated as well between six and 7,000 individual women. Um, the services offered to clients doubled between 2014 and 2017. Those numbers are staggering. And so in terms of this deadline for you to the end of April, what, what is the greatest need? What should Calgarians be thinking of first? If they can do cash, cash is the most critical thing we, can, we need. Mm -hmm. And that $500,000 is critical to keep those resource centers open. Okay, and where, where are the locations for drop-off for the items? So they can drop them off at any of our five stores. The store's addresses are on our website. We also have a donation center that they can come to. But if it's furniture items, we also have um, a, dis a truck team. And we'll come and pick up the items from your house for free. Okay, incredible. So if you're digging through your house this weekend and have items that aren't of use to you, they would go a long way for the Women in Need Society. Thank you so much for this. And Absolutely. best of luck in your fundraising efforts. Uh,